Fly fishing isn't the only favorite I found while hosting this show. I'd like to think that I would have eventually taken the steps to skydive or signed up to hang glide all on my own. But sometimes our greatest discoveries in life seem to be preordained. For instance, when the Weird Dam near Osceola Island was constructed back in 1991, the intent wasn't to create one of the most robust amphibian habitats in the Southeast. But that's exactly what happened. It was a happy coincidence, given that some amphibians, like salamanders, find themselves imperiled in our ever-expanding modern world. So when the road threatened the trysts that were taking place, a unique tunnel of love unfolded as an unorthodox solution. We've got several species of salamanders that live in this forest, but they lay their eggs in a pool that's on the other side of the road. Oh, wow. So okay. the problem is every time they go to lay their eggs, they've got to get across this road at night on rainy nights. So the tunnel gives them an option to go under the road and they don't run the risk of being hit by a car. Interesting. How do they even know that it's here? We've been actually studying this area for 20 years. Oh, so wow. we've got data that shows the number of these animals that were crossing successfully. And on some species, they're doing great. Uh, one of ours, the marbled salamander, though, its numbers have dropped considerably. And part of the problem is drought issues and the other problem is road mortality. Yeah. We want to get the data and see how it works. And uh, if it works and we can show you know, the benefits, which we're sure we will, yeah. then the potential is to add two more to basically encompass this entire forested area. Uh, so all these animals have the opportunity to go under the road this way. All right, wait, here we pause and we can watch this uh, vehicle use the tunnel, right? All right, here it is in use. Work. Works like a charm. Works like a charm. It does. So that's gotta make you proud, right? It is. It's gonna be really exciting when we see the first animals go through. Was this your idea? These have been used uh, in the Northeast for amphibians. Uh, in Florida, they've been used for reptiles and amphibians. So it's not a new concept. Listen, these animals, they're huge links in the ecosystem. But still, sometimes that's hard to sell somebody to see their benefit. Yep. One of the animals we work with that, that will hopefully use this tunnel is the four-toed salamander. And the neat thing about these animals is they lay their eggs in moss above the water. They're kind of in these really damp and humid environments. Mm -hmm. And if anything grows on their egg, any kind of fungus or anything, it kills it. So the, the mother salamander, she weaves every day through her eggs and rubs secretion off her body onto the eggs. And it keeps the mold from, from growing. So when scientists have kind of researched that and figured out how does that work, they produce a chemical that keeps the cell from dividing, the mold spore from dividing. So we've already got folks looking at this, you know, if you can stop a cell from dividing, that's basically a potential way to, to attack cancer. Wow. The other great thing about these animals is you can, they can lose toes, they can lose tails, they can lose entire limbs, they can lose half their heart and not only not die, but they regrow it. So there's some great implications there for human medicine. So they're important animals, we need them and we need them here so we can study them and hopefully benefit people in the future. The salamander is a superhero. They are, they are a superhero, sure. Hey, lead the way, man. Okay. I see these pools. I envision, you know, one person stumbling on it and then going and everybody's like, psst, psst. hey, man, have you, have, you heard, have you heard there's a there's a new pool? Let's yeah, go check it out. Instead of a field of dream, it's a pond of a dream. You right. know, you build, you build it, it, they, they, they come, come, they come oh, quickly. All right, all right, well, let's see if I can uh, get us some tadpoles. And is it all right that I'm getting some mud yeah, in there? Absolutely. <laughs> We'll see, uh, they've gotten big. They're doing very well in here. And they're, de they're definitely great tree frog tadpoles. Whoa, tampons. look at that. And without this pool, these guys would not exist. Not, not this late in the season, no. That's a powerful That's thing. That's great. By TVA helping us to construct these, we're now gonna have a, a yearly opportunity for all these animals to come in and breed. So cool, man. Man, you guys get big and strong and be awesome frogs, all right? It took dollars, time, hard work, and planning to put something like this in place. But that's what love is, laying it all on the line for the things that ultimately matter in the end, even if there's a roadblock in your way.